It's not like they disperse evenly throughout the state or disperse evenly throughout the country. Where it's like, hey, we need some people here in these areas, and we need some doctors and some and some farm laborers, and we need people here and there. No, they usually come up, they usually, and then they stay right there. So there's a swell of people, way too many people down in those southern southern states. And then when they do, when the immigrants do go to different places from where they entered into the country, you know, they'll go to Chicago, Minnesota, New York. So there's, you know, a couple of cities where they go and the same thing happens. They all go to the same place. They all go to these same, like, 10, 15 cities across the country. And so there's a surge of migrants there, too. And it's not like these people have money so they can go into, like, rent places in affluent or middle income families or anything like that. No, it's all people that are very poor. So there's already a hood, there's already neighborhoods that are poor, that don't have a lot of resources, that don't have a lot of jobs, don't have a lot of things going on for themselves, and then add more poor people. 